I'm sitting on a bus. It's been an hour, and for the first time, I look up. There are signs everywhere. Fasten seatbelt. Watch your step. No smoking. There are reminders telling me to be cautious, to be safe. There's another sign. If the bus is my body, then the bus is on fire. My depression, my anxiety, my shortcomings, they're all consuming me. I can't live like this. I won't survive. It's like I'm the only one who can see the fire. Like, it's invisible. When someone breaks their arm, they take pills to dull the pain, and their friends sign their cast and they help them through the door. Why are we more kind to physical injury? Is it because we can actually see it? Is it because there is no cure for depression? You're selling out. Yeah, you're only telling a sob story so people will pay attention. Are you seriously monetizing this? That's shallow. Sell out. Sell out. Sell out. Sell out. Sell out. Sell out. I see myself failing all the time. It's like... I'm watching it happen, and I don't want it to happen, but I've already settled with the outcome. The outcome that I'm stagnant and unmotivated. Me, not responding to these important emails. Me, not taking advantage of these opportunities. Me, falling flat on my work. Working at home has enabled me in a way. If I feel bad, I can just go back to bed. There's no time clock to punch into. There's no scary boss ready to fire me for being late. I can't blame my coworkers for making me miserable or the customers because it's just me. Me. YouTube isn't working. You're not making enough money. You have to go back to retail. You were so bad at that. Everyone hated you. Remember all the anxiety attacks? You were so unhappy. You can't get a real job. You never got a degree because you're an idiot. You've already missed your window for college. Plus, you could never afford it. You're not even a real artist. What a joke. You're a joke. You're a joke. You're a joke. You're a joke. I keep looking at that sign. I keep looking for a way out. I can't see the good things. I'm blinded by smoke or whatever stupid metaphor I need to use. That door is so enticing. I think about it every day. I fantasize over it. I am in love with it because it is an option. It's a choice. What's stopping me? I could open it. I might. I felt this way for so long before I could even put a name to it. A lot of people feel like this. Maybe you feel like this too. Like nothing matters. What's even the point? I know I've had to try so much harder than some people and for only half of the results and I hate that. That sucks. Why can't I be normal? Why isn't my brain working like it's supposed to? Why is it telling me to hurt myself? Giving up is easy. It's comfortable. The future gets easier to predict when you give up because you drift into a cycle. You zombie walk through life. You can't snap out of it. I've spent days in bed. I don't eat because making a meal is like solving a puzzle. It's too exhausting. I'm so tired and no one seems to understand that, that I am so tired of feeling like this. Like feeling nothing at all or everything at once. I push people away when they get too close because opening up is hard and I deserve to feel like crap, don't I? Because I'm a bad person. Only a bad person could feel like this. My sister tells me that she's afraid. That she checks on me when she gets home from work to see if I'm still alive. She told me that she imagines scenarios where I'm dead and is already mentally preparing herself for it. I'm always one decision away from making someone's greatest fear come to life. I know there's going to be some people who think I'm making this up or exaggerating. I know there are YouTubers who make videos about their struggles with mental illness and get a ton of crap for it. And honestly, go loose. I know some of my friends and family are going to watch this and I don't think they're going to be surprised because they already know me. They know that this is a huge part of me. This isn't new. Though, I feel like I've been lying to people in a way. I give off this fun demeanor when I meet someone, even when I don't feel like that at all. When a fan approaches me at a convention, I try to be my best self for them because they're so excited to see me. 
there are all these kids and teenagers who like me and look up to me and I feel like I'm tricking them. I'm not someone who's worth idolizing. I used to have such high aspirations for myself. I used to be so hungry for happiness and success. Now I'm just trying to get by. I've wasted a quarter of this year trying not to kill myself. And I'm not making this video to say, oh, I'm better now, I beat depression. Because I didn't. I'm not trying to preach to anyone. I don't have much advice to offer. I'm just talking and telling you a story and... Some days I'm able to look at that fire and see it for what it really is. A chemical imbalance in my brain, a result of hardships and genetics. It's not my fault and it never has been. No one chooses this. You deserve to be happy.